So what we're going to do this morning is head down to that bridge, bring five prototype reptilian baits. I'm still working on the design. I've got them to where you can fish them and be consistent and successful catching fish, but that's it's not good enough, you know. I want these things to function the way I envision. So we're going to keep tinkering with them until we get that. I think this go round the baits that I brought with me are going to be pretty good. I'm looking for several different things, you know, in the action of the baits. The ones I had before, they were successful. They would walk the dog good, but they would turn belly up too much. So we got in the gate we got to negate that and kind of balance the lure out, get a little more stable and a little more walking dog action that I think will be good. So I think this morning, the five baits I brought are gonna be pretty close, so. All right guys, so just made a turn. This right here is the dollar store coming up on the left. We come down here, it's just right down, you know, I don't know, eight minutes or so from our house. So sometimes I joke around with my wife, she'll send me to the dollar store right here. But the spot where I fish my lures, my baits at, it's right here. Literally, it's a little bridge coming up. So just past the dollar store, see I'm already turning. But yeah, this is the infamous spot. This is where all the Bad Bass lures have got tested for the most part, it's crazy. No matter what the future holds, I'll always remember this spot. It's my little testing center, <laughs> it's crazy. Let's drive down this little road, come under this bridge. Yeah, that's it. We normally just back the truck up right here. Throw off into that water right there. All right, so here we are, we're getting set up. Forgive me for the noise. Like I said, I'm under a bridge, so it is what it is. Yeah, looks like we got a little wind this morning. That's kind of a good and a bad thing. I wanted to test these things and went, you know, in calm conditions because that's normally, you know, the conditions that are conducive for topwater fishing. So if I can get my bait to function good in this windy water, then it's definitely going to function that much better in calm, glassy surface water, you know. So let's get to it, see what we got. I brought five baits, like I said before. I think these two right here, these front two right here, they're lightly tail weighted. They float a little more naturally flat. And I think these top three have a little more tail weight, float a little bit down, doesn't rise as fast. So I'm hoping to get more tail action out of these, you know, the zigzag swinging around out of those. So, so we'll do the first one. And I'm up on water too, up about, I don't know, five feet above the water. So that's really gonna affect the way I, I retrieve the bait. So I'm gonna have to kind of kneel down a little bit. See, it floats really good. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. <laughs> that is exciting. Oh, wow. Oh guys, that is, seriously, it's belly down. It's looking good. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, I got chills. And it's not just cause the wind. Oh my goodness. Take one more long cast. These things cast really, really good too. Oh, it's walking good guys. You can't really see it, I don't think, because of the ripples of the water but this thing is man i'm excited i'm jacked up about this one let's do a little bit to the left side coming with the wind look at that Is that not? That's crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. So I am crazy, crazy jacked up excited about that. <laughs> 
man so that man that right there that was that was pretty much golden guys that right there is good enough for production right there all right guys that first one was amazing so right now tying on prototype number two just doing a simple palomar knot so the idea would be that most of these work let me know i've got this dialed in pretty good <clears throat> like i said i brought five prototypes they're just different variations of tail weights kind of center toward the back and then tail weights almost all the way towards the back to see how they act you know see the difference in function that first one was amazing though let's let's get on with it though and get on to number two the second prototype was built pretty much the same it's just got a slight variation of the tail weight let's see how it sinks comes right back up so that's good see how the tail stays down just slightly that's kind of what i want see that and then it'll rise slowly and get get situated let's hope this thing works good let's see see it wants to have more of a that one kind of dove in the water just a little bit This one's, yeah, this one's acting all kind of crazy, really. <laughs> I'm not as happy with this one. Yeah, it wants to come straight to me for some reason. Okay, yeah. That one's not working too good at all. So we're going to go ahead and cut cut to the quick here prototype number two is a no not at all <laughs> keep that guy up there so this was actually one of the lighter tail weighted ones so I'm gonna go ahead, just so I can kind of hone in what I'm looking at here, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the heavier ones on. So this is the third prototype. It's pretty much similar to the first one I did. So since I just did a lighter one and got basically some jacked up looking results, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the other lighter ones and go ahead and go back to a heavier one again so I can see the difference in the action. Let's get to it. Here's number three, similar to number one. If it if it functions a lot like number one, then I think we're on the right track as far as function, where I need to be, how I need to design them. So, all right, here we go. Number three. So I like it. It sinks in there good. See, it floats. Perfect, just fine. This tail's a little bit heavy, I like that. It has a slow rise to it, that's what I wanted. There you go. Let's see where the money's at. See how she functions. Oh yeah, right off the bat. Once you get her up on, once you get her up on plane, it started working a lot better. Walking the dog pretty good. Let's do a medium range cast. Oh yeah. looking good I 
Yeah, that's looking good. Number one and three, the heavier ones, those are looking good. All right, so I'm getting excited. I think I'm really, I think I'm really getting this action <clears throat> dialed in. So one and three look really, really good. I thought the first three would actually, the lighter ones would actually perform a lot better, but that's actually not the case. I'm gonna do another one. This is the fourth one, another lighter one. <coughs> See what it looks like. All right, this is number four. It's a light, <coughs> it's a lighter bait also. Of course, it's gonna float good. We know that. Comes right back up immediately. Let's do it in a shaded area so we can all see it. It's got a good Z walk. Yeah, I mean, that, <clears throat> that's looking good. I just... Okay, so I luckily got that crazy thing out of the tree. Yeah, so... What is going on? This thing did not want to walk at all that time. Wow. Yeah, it's not stable at all. So in good, in good, clean, glass calm water, it works, but I don't know what is going on with this thing right now, but that is definitely not gonna be good enough. Yeah, that is horrible. That's not gonna work. All right, so we're not gonna waste any, any more time testing that last lightweight topwater one because it's pretty similar to the, the other two lightweight ones I did. So I already know it's not gonna perform that good. So basically these three are out and I think the two heavyweight ones, these right here, which they all look the same to you guys, I know. But these two right here are definitely winners. They perform in glass calm and in windy conditions. So that is pretty awesome. These other three though, these lightweight ones, this is not doing the trick. Even, man, especially in windy conditions, they're just not working. So that's a little upsetting. So they would have been good to go if I would have just had a heavier weight, but that's what you do. You come test this stuff out. So we did that. I think we accomplished what we came to accomplish. I do think I finally got the design and the formula right and ready for production. And that's these guys right here. So that's exciting. The only thing left to do now is take these guys and replicate them, you know, five, 10 times maybe, and come and test all those. If I get a consistent result, uh, action just like these, then, then we're pretty much golden. So it's one step at a time, guys. That's the way it is. So it's gonna do it for this trip, guys. Out here, again, at the famous spot, it's down here at the local bridge, hear all the traffic going across, right next to the dollar store. The dollar store is so conveniently placed, but yeah, it allows me to come here and do this sometimes. Sometimes my wife will send me to the dollar store to get milk for the girls, because they drink milk like, man, worse than cows and everything else combined, I swear. But sometimes I come down to the dollar store to get milk and I'll conveniently make a pit stop. <laughs> since it's right here, you know, might as well. So yeah, that's it guys, gonna do it for this one. This is Days Before the Dream, the journey, the makings of Bad Bass. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll do it again sometime.